Hello everybody and welcome to my bandit character guide. I'll start by giving an overview of his skills, following up with general gameplay tips, and finally covering items that synergize well with his kit. Let's begin. Bandit's passive backstab grants him guaranteed crits when hitting a target from behind. Backstab crits are not separate from regular ones, you won't deal 4 times damage from a backstab with 10 crit glasses. The from behind qualifier is mostly self explanatory, but it can get a bit confusing when looking at some enemies like vagrants or brass contraptions. If you don't know where an enemy's behind is <laughs> simply note their orientation when they are attacking you that's always going to be their front i'll give more details on how to consistently backstab in the gameplay tips section bandit has two choices of primary his default burst is a shotgun that shoots a spread of five pellets each for 100 damage and blast his alternate is a rifle that shoots a single round for 330 damage other than the number of projectiles that come out of the barrel both primaries function pretty much identically they both carry four rounds fire and reload at the exact same speeds. Also, their fire rates are independent of your attack speed, meaning that you'll shoot as fast as you can click. However, attack speed is still extremely important to have as it decreases the amount of time it takes to reload each round. There is a slight delay between firing your last shot and then beginning to reload. This delay is almost non-existent if you have an empty mag, but is very noticeable. It's about half a second if you have any number of rounds still in the chamber. So watch, do three shots. Look how long it takes to start reloading. All four shots starts reloading like right away one two three four starts reloading right away one two three look at that delay right there so always shoot all your rounds on bandit you may be thinking okay so the goal is to shoot all four as fast as possible to have a super short reload and then get back to shooting again right well as tempting as it is to spam you'll have a lot of bloom the faster you fire for the shotgun there will be more spread between each pellet and for the rifle the more inaccurate the next shot will be the solution for both is to double tap your shots the amount of bloom between the first and second shot is not nearly as noticeable as that between the second and the third and especially the fourth meaning you want the fire too way to brief moment, very brief moment, just enough to reset the bloom, and then fire the other two. Not only does doing this drastically increase your accuracy and thus DPS against things that are not point blank, but also removes that annoying reload delay by getting you in the habit of shooting all four rounds each time. If something is right in front of you, then yeah, spam away. Otherwise, double tap. Bandit's two secondaries are Serrated Dagger, a melee slash that deals 360% damage in a small area, and Serrated Shiv, a thrown dagger that deals 240%. Both share the same cooldown of four seconds, as well as applying hemorrhage on a critical strike. Hemorrhage deals 2000% base damage over a 15 second duration to the target. It's easier to think of this as dealing 133% damage per second. Applying a new stack of hemorrhage both refreshes the duration of all previous stacks and adds an additional 2000% damage to the pool or 133% per second. Note that hemorrhage is a separate debuff from regular bleeds. Its damage is independent from any tri-tips or shatter spleens that you may have. Both secondaries also cancel your vertical momentum them, meaning you can use them near the end of a fall to prevent damage or at the peak of a jump to extend your amount of airtime. And its utility, Smoke Bomb, grants invisibility for up to 3 seconds, as well as dealing 200% damage and stunning things in a small area both at the start and end of the duration. Taking any combat related action during stealth will reveal you early. Smoke Bomb also has a couple mechanics that are not listed. First, you get a decent amount of movement speed while invisible, should be about 30%, so you should be in the habit of using it off of cooldown whenever you're just running around the stage, and second, both the start and the end of the ability have an automatic little pop. If you're standing still, the hop is barely noticeable, but if you're airborne, it's almost like getting a free jump's worth of height. You can easily reach things that are otherwise inaccessible by jumping, using your smoke bomb, and then canceling it, essentially getting three jumps for one. Finally, Bandit's two specials are Lights Out and Desperado. Both are pistol shots that deal 600% damage and act as an execute, dealing up to three times more damage based on how low the target's health is. The difference between them is what happens after you land a killing blow. Lights Out resets all of your ability cooldowns, equipment and items are not affected, while Desperado gains a token, with each token granting 10% more Desperado damage. Note that these tokens are reset entirely after leaving a stage. Regardless of which one you choose to take, you should at a minimum be conscious of landing the killing blow with every shot, but don't make it your top priority as you'll start thinking way too hard on, oh man, if I shoot this right now, is it going to be enough damage to kill it or should I wait a second, instead of just blasting stuff away. If you're fighting anything tanky, you should use your special multiple times as proccing things like 
ATGs and especially ice and fire bands off of the shot, even if it doesn't kill the target, will boost your overall DPS up quite a bit. For the little guys, however, yes, you do need to be focused on landing the killing shots. As for which one is the stronger ability, they're actually both very close in power. Stacking damage with Desperado is unquestionably better early on, as you'll be able to melt through even the toughest elites and bosses like Butter, while resetting your cooldowns becomes more potent the later your run goes, as going in and out of stealth can be the difference between life and death. Experiment with both of them to find out which one suits your playstyle best. Alright, let's talk about playing Bandit to his maximum potential. The name of the game is Backstab, Backstab, Backstab. Regardless of what you are fighting, you're literally doing half as much damage to them if you're not utilizing his passive and hitting them from behind. The easiest way to ensure you backstab a target is to move as close as possible to them before popping your stealth, that way you can easily get behind them and dump your load before they can reacquire you and rotate away. Obviously, once you get some crit chance going, backstab becomes less and less important, but for the first loop of a run especially, you need to prioritize getting behind anything that's tankier than a beetle, otherwise you are leaving tons of potential damage on the floor. And let me point this out here real quick, Bandit's secondary ability is easily the least relevant part of his kit. Hemorrhage requires far too many stacks to actually start dealing damage, and you are much, much better off focusing on double tap with your primary and resetting cooldowns or gaining tokens with your special than you are trying to ramp a measly 133% damage per second up. In a perfect world, you're stacking that 133% DPS every four seconds on the target, but realistically, you will never, and I mean never, both be in range and behind a target every four seconds like clockwork. That's just not gonna happen. Good luck trying to do that versus an Elder Lemurian or Blazing Elite. Also, think of how often you'll be fighting a single target that stays alive for longer than four seconds in the first place. Hint, it's not very often. The only time I have found it worthwhile to hemorrhage a target is if it's a boss because they can't rotate fast enough to keep you out from behind them. All other targets track you so well that the only window you really have is to get behind them with your stealth and even then the stealth changes this patch make it so that even that isn't a guarantee. All of what I just said can be summarized to hemorrhage simply isn't worth it. Just toss your secondary into your DPS rotation whenever it's off cooldown and then forget about it. Other than that, remember to double tap with your primary on anything not right next to you and focus on shooting all four shots every time to maximize the time you spend shooting versus reloading. If you're on stages one through four, ensuring each use of your special lands a killing blow will speed up your early game dramatically and help cascade your run later on. Finally here, let's talk about some items that perform well on Bandit in the early game. First, syringes. More attack speed equals less time spent reloading and more time shooting. Simple stuff, really. Next, predatories and sites. Since you'll be getting guaranteed crits 90% of the time, getting either one of these bad boys early on is the same thing as getting them with capped crit. A single scythe makes you practically immortal in the first four stages. Lastly, movement speed. Yes, move speed is important on everybody, but it's especially important on Bandit due to how easy it is for enemies to again rotate their backs away from you and prevent backstabs. Your stealth isn't going to be available for every target you want to backstab, so having some energy drinks, gold hooves, and a wax quill or two opens up your window of opportunity by a huge amount. Alright, and that about does it for everything I wanted to cover on the Bandit. What are your thoughts? Let me know with a like or dislike on the video and a comment below. You can check out my stream at twitch.tv slash woollygaming and consider joining our Discord server as well. Thank you for watching.